All right, question number five. Diagram two shows the plan of a rectangular garden A B C D. Now, a pond in a shape of a quadrant of a circle, okay, with center D, will be built in the garden. So this is one quadrant of a circle. The remaining area, so this remaining area here, is given by ninety x plus twenty seven pi. Okay, this is the area will be planted with grass. It is given that P, so P is here, is the midpoint of AD. Okay, so this is the midpoint. So we know that this is a, this is 6x, right? It's a rectangle. So here will be 3x, here will be 3x. So the radius of this quadrant is also 3x. The length of AB, okay, so AB is here. Length of AB is twice the length of arc PQ twice the length of arc PQ. Okay, so we form our equation first. Length AB, which is Y meter. So Y equals to 2 times the arc PQ. Where is Okay, PQ. So we can find our PQ, right? Because we know that PQ is the 1 quadrant. So 1 quadrant means what? Times 1 over 4 of 2 pi R. R is 3x. So can we simplify this? Yes, we can. This one you can cut. So you have 3 pi x. Okay, so that is, um yeah, so that's the, we got this equation. Lah. Okay, see what we can use, use it for. Okay, so now they ask you to find the value of x and y. So for sure, we have to use this, uh, form an equation using the area here. Correct? So we know the full area is y times 6x, right? The full area. So y, sorry, y times 6x minus, you're going to minus this, the area of this quadrant here. So the area of this quadrant, let me, let me write it here. So the area of, okay, we write that PDQ, right? The area is equals to what? Same thing, 1 over 4, and then pi r is 3x square. So you get um, 9x, okay, 9 pi x square over 4, okay. So I'm just going to write straight away. So 9 over 4, lah. 9 over 4 pi x square, and then what else do you have? Oh yeah, so equals to... 90x plus 27 pi okay so this is the i'm basically forming an equation using the area given here okay so we have to substitute the y because you've got a y there so y we have already gotten here y equals to 3 pi x so 3 pi x multiplied by 6x i will get 18 pi x square minus 9 over 4 pi x square equals to 90 x plus 27 pi. Now you notice here all of them got pi. So I can actually factorize the pi out of this and then cancel with this. Okay. So I'm just going to cancel straight away. So here is okay. No more pi. So now it becomes a bit easier. All right. So what do we do now? Huh. We can, should we multiply everything by 4? So we can eliminate the, okay, you know what? Let me rearrange first, okay? Before we do anything, let us rearrange. So we have got 18 minus 9 over 4, because here is both x squared, right? So 18 minus 9 over 4 should be, you get 63 over 4 x squared minus 90x. I'm going to bring all this to the other side, huh? So minus 90x minus 27 equals 0. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the whole thing, multiply by 4. So that I can remove the fraction. So I get 63x squared minus 360x minus 108 equals 0. So you can actually straight away just uh, factorize here. You will get two brackets. First one will be uh, if you don't want to, if let's say, uh, yeah, basically you can just straight away do, la, but 
to make it proper of course you can simplify first okay this whole thing you can you can actually simplify divide the whole thing by 9 but in this case I'm not going to do that so straight away I factorize I get x minus 6 and 7x plus 2 so here is x equals to 6 cm x equals to negative 7 over 2 does this make sense eh, sorry not 7 over 2 2 over 7 negative 2 over 7 so this doesn't make sense so you have to reject this okay now so you only got this lah so this is 6 cm so they ask you to find x and y so now you have to find y so what is the y equation again y equals to 3 pi x which is what we found here so just substitute 3 pi x y equals to 3 pi x is 6 so you get 18 pi cm done x and y found 